Hey there folks, Rel here. This is your Araxium update for March 20, 2016. In community news, there was a playtest that happened yesterday to test out the new faction pop balance feature, as well as working out some construction bugs and indar bases and such. And I'll leave a proper link in the video description below that outlines the details, but basically what it comes down to is, the current queue system is on a per continent basis, so if you have more than X number of people on a continent, you have to sit in queue before you can go there and all access members get to the front of the line. So what we're trying to do in order to balance populations so that you don't get 50% uh, TR sitting on a continent while 25% VS and NC are just kind of, you know, just kind of getting the snot beat out of them. We want to make queuing faction specific as well. So if your faction has too many players on one continent, you'll have to wait in queue until you can go play there. That's a dead stop to continent overpops, and we can tweak the values for how strict or how lax you want to enforce that requirement. And there are also a lot of rules that actually make the system work, so I encourage you to read the post linked in the video description because I'm sure people will have some questions like, what happens if you overpop two continents? We're not just going to like throw you in VR training room, obviously, so go check out the thread, it does explain everything in some relative detail. On the PTS, there's also another construction update. Silo is now shorter in height, which makes it a much smaller target. There is better messaging when a VP generator goes active and how close you are to earning the actual victory points itself. The mineral radar is also working now, which is actually super useful for a continent like Amorish where you don't actually have long sight lines on the ground floor, as well as a bunch of other various improvements to the ant and construction systems alike. You can also go play with the NS-20 Gorgon a little bit, which is the new heavy machine gun for the max unit. I think these need a little bit more work before they go live live, but that will probably be pretty soon. Like we talked about briefly in the last one of these videos, the Gorgon isn't going to replace any of your dedicated AV weapons. I know that this was a concern, but that's, that's not the point of them. You're still going to be wanting Pounders or Comets or Falcons for short range dedicated AV, and you're still going to want long range dedicated AV weapons for long range. Yes, by the way, the Fracture buff should be in the next patch, so they'll definitely be more usable when that takes place. This is alongside some other changes coming very likely in the next patch, and I want to reiterate very likely because who knows what can actually happen before now and when the patch actually goes live, but Sunderer Basilisk Rate of Fire is being reverted because it was never intended to go live that way anyway, so you'll see less bus apocalypse happening despite being pretty hilarious to watch these past few weeks. Mentor Ribbons are also getting a buff from BR20 to BR30. So basically, if I'm battle rank 31 and I have a BR30 or lower earning squad support experience, I can earn Mentor Ribbons. After battle rank 30, we consider you a sort of planetside 2 adult, or at least you know, however much you consider an 18 year old an adult, <laughs> but we let you free into the world and you can start earning battle rank uh, or mental ribbons yourself. Until this point, you had to be uh, at least battle rank 20 and you could only earn mental ribbons from targets battle rank 19 and below. And unfortunately, with the introduction of Colt here, people were coming out of that thing at BR 15 anyway. So you had a window of four battle ranks to actually earn the ribbons unless they popped onto the live continents before that. So that was pretty limited, all things considered, this change will make those ribbons much easier to earn. The new bounty categories should be making it live as well. They've been on the PTS for a while now already, but we've added an infantry explosive category, so like C4, like anti-tank mines, as well as a category for rocket launchers, and a category for assault rifles as well. The fact that assault rifles were missing was basically excluding a whole class of players, which was kind of weird, but between C4 and rocket launchers, you'll actually have a better chance of taking out bountied vehicles and bountied max units as well, which should make an extremely difficult directive at least a little bit easier to get points toward. And make no mistake, that's not the problem with the bounty system overall. I've expressed my views on this in the past, but hopefully it's something that we can address in the future when we do get some more time. This is just a quick and easy change that makes things a little bit less difficult, while still preserving the challenge of the actual directive itself. There is one thing that I want to get on my soapbox about, and it goes back to people talking about NS weapons and that they're sick of them and whatever, whatever, we don't need any more in the game, and I completely agree. We have plenty of NS weapons in the game already, and it'd be nice to get more Empire-specific stuff in the game, but if you guys remember back to the Higby era, like before the layoff, a lot of these models were already contracted out to a third-party company, so they're basically done, and we just have them sitting around. There's still some rigging and audio and improvements to be made, but for the most part, when you see a new NS weapon, this is just this is just like house cleaning. 
House cleaning dating back from December 2014 or however long ago these models were first talked about. The NS Archer was one, NS Auto Pistol was one, NS HMGs were one, NS Thumper was one, but who knows where that'll go because people hate the idea of grenade launchers, NS Rocket Rifle was one. Like I said, it's house cleaning, right? We can sit on these items like we've been doing, and then the veterans can keep asking, you know, what happened to X thing that was teased forever ago? Or we can just complete these items and then give it to all of you to play with. That's much less work than creating something from scratch, which we honestly don't have a whole lot of time to do right now given the construction system. Basically, we're working within our boundaries to give you cool stuff while also completing the first pass of the construction system, you know, the big project that's eating up basically all of our time. And the construction system is something that we want to release when it feels good. We, I mean as the players, have seen what happens when things are neglected and we have to sit on a first pass forever. Implants were one, mission system is one, crappy directive weapons is another one, bounty system is still one. So with a huge content feature that we've been working on for months and months, it's important to get it to feel like it's a part of the game that we can then build on. Instead of being phased one to death where it just sits there half broken until you know somebody gets around to fixing it, no one wants to see that sort of thing. And that being said, construction will come out when it comes out, and the Indar revamp will most likely come out at the same time, but we are getting much closer. Those of you who have been frequenting the test server know just how much we take the feedback into consideration, and it's being iterated on each and every time we run through this stuff. Much different development process that we as players have been used to seeing from the team even like a year ago. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and oh, also let me know what you think about the new branding. The intro is mostly temporary and I don't have an outro slate yet, but Motion has been, uh, he's been doing really cool stuff. He was able to give the channel a facelift. So let me know what you think. Finally back on track. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.